My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the gospel reading of today, Jesus makes a statement of agency, a statement of great depth, a statement of action. He says, this is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. This is the moment of fulfillment. This is that time of fulfillment. Repent and believe the good news. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, if we look at what is around, happening around us, the countless death, the panic, the fear, the anxiety, the griefs caused by all this pandemic, the loss of life, the loss of livelihoods, the separation of families. I think the gospel reading of today can be a message for you and me. This is the time of fulfillment. The time has come, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, for us to invoke God. The time has come, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, for us to encounter the face of God during this moment of difficulty and pain. And when Jesus says, the time has come for the kingdom of God, when he speaks about the kingdom, he's not talking about something that is beyond us. He's talking about the reign of God. He's talking about the relationships we should nature, the relationships we should build during this difficult time. These relationships are relationships of love, are relationships of unity, are relationships where Pope Francis would talk about that oneness where we realize that we need the other person. We need the other to come forth, to console, to bring that fraternal love for those struggling and those infected. And yet Jesus says, repent and believe the good news. How do we become people of the kingdom to each and every one of us during this time of the pandemic? How do we become people of the kingdom to people who are struggling, to people who are infected, to people who are dying, who are mourning, who are bereaved? And I think it calls each and every one of us to a life of repentance. And this life is a life of going an extra mile to show love, to show affection, to show compassion, not to stigmatize those who are sick, but to be with them in prayer, to remember, to support them with all the prayers that we can offer, to pray for the world, to pray for the communities, to pray for the various families, the homeless, the struggling during this difficult time. So I urge all of you, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, that the time has also come for all of us. As we go through these phases of the pandemic, we pray that this can also be a time of our own repentance, a time of our own deep prayer, a time of our own conversion, where we seek the face of God where we will not isolate those and stigmatize the ones that are struggling, but where we pray for each other, where we support each other. And that's our own belief. That's our own faith. That's our Christian hope through Christ our Lord.